Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another day of our 12 days of Christmas, and today I'm going to be getting ready with you to achieve this look that you see right here. It's a very, very relaxed chit chat. Get ready with me, nothing too serious, you guys. I just really wanted to get ready with you uh, because one, I'm not supposed to leave my house today, like I have nowhere to go. I'm just filming videos, and I had to get ready to film my videos <laughs> for my 12 days of Christmas that's going on um, in advance, so here we are. But between my birthday, Black Friday, and the VIB sale, there have been so many new products that I've recently acquired, and I kind of wanted to test them out and play with that makeup, and I figured why not do it here on camera? So most of, if not all of the makeup that I have on right now is something that I've recently hauled and recently picked up, so we've got a few first impressions in here, and without further delay, let's just jump on in to figuring out how I created this look. All right, let's go. <laughs> My look today is going to be really relaxed, really minimalistic. I'm not trying to go over the top here by any stretch of the imagination, you guys. And I just really wanted to play with some new products that I picked up, like, over the past few months, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to go in for my base with my Dr. Jart BB Cream. This is the one in Disipore, and I'm just putting a little bit right now onto my... Um, what is this? My makeup drop. I love to use this specifically um, to mix different products instead of like mixing it on the back of my hand or something like that and getting all dirty. I'd rather do it on a silicone like surface that I'm easily able to wash. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of this teeny little sample that I picked up from Sephora. It's of De Bronzy Drunk Elephant. And you guys, I literally I was like, this is a scam. This is stupid. Like, why are all these people talking about Dee Bronzy? What's the hype all about? Because literally every single person that I've encountered loves this stuff. So I went to Sephora to see what, you know, what, like, the big deal was surrounding this product. Um, so obviously this is a sample, but I love it so much, you guys, that I actually just picked it up. Sephora order should hopefully be here in the next few days, and I'll have the full size, and I can throw this away, but for now, it's, it'll do just fine. Um, Dee Bronzy, it's basically, like, they call it an anti-pollution sunshine serum. It does have skincare benefits, but it also just deepens up your base, or you can wear it on its own for, like, a veil, like a bronze veil, um, but my BB cream, my Disapur, sometimes is a little bit too light for me, and I thought the other day, like, adding some of this would be a great little combo, and it worked out beautifully, so not only did it deepen it up, but it provided, like, this radiance to my skin that I just was not expecting. I'm going to blend all of that on the back of this makeup drop, and then start applying it on my skin, and I'm just going to take my fingers and start blending that into the skin and you can like already see like a ridiculous amount of coverage is happening here I obviously had a breakout going on and you know it's peeking through but it's nothing serious now that I have kind of smeared it all over the place with my fingers I'm just gonna take a wet beauty blender to pat the rest into the skin I love this technique of just using my fingers and then going in with a beauty sponge or a beauty blender uh, just because it's very very fast easy efficient um, Honestly, my fingers do a really good job with the BB cream, but I like to go in with a beauty blender afterwards just to remove any excess product that might have been like weirdly built up on my face in some areas. Um, and the result is just a smooth, um, a smooth canvas. And what I was talking about earlier, you can see this like radiance going on. That's totally from the Dee Bronzy. It is definitely more skin toned on me. I look a little bit more bronze, kind of like I've been out in the sun for a little bit, so it's a really natural finish. The combination's just been flawless, like between that and the BB cream. And I love the BB cream, by the way, the Disapore by Dr. Jart, because it fills in my pores. Like I don't even really need a primer when I use it. The coverage is so good, like the best coverage I've ever found for a BB cream. Um, and it lasts all day. Like it doesn't cake up or bunch up or fall off or anything like that. So it's a really good product. If you have acne or combo skin like me, um, it's a really, really good one. I would definitely suggest you looking into it if you're like in that realm of skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just this elf brush. Um, and I'm just going to take a teeny, teeny little bit and just dust that all over the face just to kind of set everything in that we just did. 
I obviously skip concealer. I feel like I don't really need it. I mean, I could have probably used it for a few touch-ups, but it's fine. We're just going to go with what we've got going on. And I'm also going to skip bronzer because I used the deep bronzy. I don't feel like I need to deepen anything else up on the complexion. So I'm going to go in now with my blush. This is from Hourglass. This is Mood Exposure, one of my favorite blushes that I own. Uh, it's just a beautiful muted tone. It's like gorgeous on the cheeks. I'm just going to use this little stippling brush from Sephora and just start applying applying that to the cheeks. I love like the healthy luminous glow that this does provide on the skin. It really looks like you're flushed if applied properly, uh, but it is buildable in pigmentation too. So smooth, so silky. All hourglass um, powders are just, they're my favorite in terms of how finely milled they are and how they apply onto the skin. They're really, really foolproof. But one thing I will say is that I think that I have a decent amount of blush on in person, but it's funny because on camera it really doesn't look like I've applied too much to the cheeks. I've noticed that, by the way. I'm really new into the whole YouTube world and YouTube community for like creating content myself, but I've been watching YouTube forever, and a lot of these like big makeup gurus, you watch them like pile on, pile on all this makeup, and it's kind of sad because you go do that yourself and you think it looks good, but in reality, like they're piling it on because on camera, like it's not showing up on camera like it does in real life. And so all these girls out there are like walking around with like all this cake face makeup, way too much makeup on their faces because that's what they're seeing the influencers and like the people on YouTube doing. And it's just kind of sad. I've noticed that. Have you guys noticed that too? Let me know in the comment section down below. You need to apply three, four times the amount of product on camera than you actually do in real life. And I'm not all about that game right now, so we're just gonna, we're gonna keep it simple and subdued today, okay? <laughs> For our highlighter today, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Nude Luminizer in 01. I've wanted this one forever. I'm so happy I finally picked it up at the sale. This is what it looks like. It's like the most beautiful, this is like pretty true to color to you guys, like the most beautiful pinky champagne-y highlighter that I've ever seen. It's a little bit more glittery than my favorite Laura Mercier highlighter, but it provides a really beautiful like subtle sheen on the skin. Um, and I'm just using my Wayne Goss 02 brush. I got this brush, like his brushes are ridiculously expensive. I actually got this brush last year in the Beautylish like surprise box. It's one of those things where you spend a certain amount of money, it's like 50 bucks, and then they give you like $150 worth of products. And this was one of the products that came in it and I couldn't even believe it because like these are expensive. And honestly, it's like, it's the nicest brush that I own. I've been loving this highlighter, you guys, because you really can't apply too much, like you can't overdo it. You can see that it just like, it gives me such a luminous, like fresh kind of glow. It's not over the top, it's not like a crazy Becca highlight, um, but you can definitely tell that it's there. I really love this highlighter, you guys. It's super versatile, you can wear it you know, during the day, running errands around the house, like what I'm doing today. Um, you can also wear it like on a night out or at work. It's not in your face, like too crazy, too blinding, but it's definitely there. Um, so it's a really good one. Really impressed with this one. Now that our base is done, I'm going to go into the eyes. And the thing that I'm probably the most excited about in this entire video um, is my brand new palette from Pat McGrath. I'm so excited. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime in Bronze Temptation. Are you ready? This packaging's actually kind of hard to get into. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous shades. Oh, I die. I can't, I seriously can't contain my excitement, you guys. Like, I've wanted a Pat McGrath palette forever, but they are so expensive. And I mean, this one definitely was not cheap, but I wanted to try it and it was on sale, so... I, I took the plunge. A good eyeshadow is like, once you've had a good eyeshadow or a good eyeshadow palette, you never want to go back. Um, okay, so let's do some swatches of these. I am going to go into, let's do a matte, like this one. Oh, they're nice. Let's also go into this green right here and this one right here. Let's do those three. This is what they look like. Here's the green. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Ooh. Look at that one. Look at that reflection, you guys. That's insane. 
Oh my god. Okay, let's put these on the lids. <laughs> I don't intend on doing anything too crazy, but we're just gonna see where this palette takes us. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here first. Start applying it to the crease. Hello, pigmentation. I was not expecting it to be that pigmented right off the bat. Okay, note to self, a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to go ham. These shadows, they just keep going and going and going. Like, a little goes such a long way, but they are blending out so beautifully on the lid space. There's no patching, it takes minimal effort, and it's like blowing out really, really nicely. That's a win. That's a huge win. So the shade Burning Desires, according to this little plastic sheet, is a huge, huge win. I know this isn't supposed to be like a review of this palette, you guys, but I hate when they have like these plastic inserts. Like Pat McGrath, you charge $55 for this palette, the small palette. You can at least like give us the names of the shadows somewhere on, on here. Like how hard would it be just to put the names like in this little area? Just saying. I'm really feeling this like green, sorry, I'm like trying not to blind you with this mirror, this green shade down here. So I'm gonna put a teeny little bit of that on my outside corner and hopefully give this a little um, holiday like smoky vibe. Ooh, this green you guys is much more wearable than it looks like it is in the pan. It's slightly glittery and there's not any kick up on the pan like there was with that matte shade, um, but like, just a teeny little bit on your brush goes a very long way, and it's this very muted, like, forest green almost, with a teeny, teeny little reflect. It's really, really beautiful. This is a stunning green for, like, any time of year. I'm really loving this. Then I'm going to go in with... Let's go in with this champagne shade. This is the shade... Let me get this thing back out. Um, Celestial. I'm gonna go into Celestial just with my finger and pop it right into the center of my lid. Finally, just to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with this like matte shade over here, the one that we first started off with, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line and smoke that out, and we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna skip the liner today and just go in with mascara because I picked up the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is a 100 point perk. If you can't tell, I really like to get samples to try things before I buy the full size. I saw this on the website, so I picked it up because it's very, very hyped up and I wanted to give it a shot. That's what the bristles look like on the wand, and I'm just gonna go in with a coat of this and I'll be right back. I went ahead and actually put two coats of this on. Um, one coat just was not enough, but it did layer nicely. I like how it makes my lashes kind of do this. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it makes them look very fluttery and long, but it doesn't define them very much. So if you're looking for something that's gonna make your lashes very, very black, I can tell you right now it's not gonna do that. It's more of a lengthening mascara, at least from this initial like first impression. I'll see how this wears, and I'll keep you guys posted in a future video. Next, for brows, I'm gonna go in with the brand new to me Hourglass. Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. This came highly recommended to me. This is in the shade Soft Brunette. And I was very intrigued by this because not only is the shade like pretty perfect for me, but it's dual sided. So you can see that this side is a lot shorter than this side in terms of the bristles. So the longer side is good for like combing through your brows and the smaller side is good for really like filling in those sparse areas. So I'm going to give this a shot and see how it performs. I'm really excited because the current brow gel that I have is atrocious. I can't stand it. It's the glossy. So we are lifting with the long side, and it's making this brow so fluffy. Oh, I love that. And we'll go in with the short side and fill it in. I love the shade match. What do you guys think of this brow? That was like the easiest brow ever. You guys, I really, really like that. Okay, let's do the other one. Brows are done, and I've got to say, I am like so shocked at how easy that was. Uh, brows for me are one of the hardest parts of makeup. I can never seem to get them right. And that was like the easiest, most efficient thing I've ever done. This brow, I did the short side first and then the longer side to fluff. And I think that one actually is more natural looking and worked better than the first, but I'll be playing around with this. Oh my gosh, holy cow. That was awesome. You go hourglass. <laughs> For lips, I'm just going to go in with the Agave Bite Beauty Lip Mask, but this is in the shade Maple. I have used this out of full disclosure already, and this is, honestly, this blows the original one out of the water. In my opinion, it 
It smells straight up like maple and it tastes like maple and the color is like your lips but better. It's a sheer pigment. It's absolutely stunning and it's also highly, highly nourishing. Great for this time of year with these like drier, colder months. It's been like a lifesaver for my lips. I'm so obsessed. And just like that, we are all done with the makeup look. I really like how this turned out, you guys. I think it's very, very natural, very easy to achieve, obviously. I was not expecting to go that like ham with eyeshadow, uh, but you guys saw the swatches were amazing. They're still on my hand. I mean, it's such a beautiful palette that I had to play with it a little bit. Like the makeup lover in me was like, ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the final completed look. I really enjoy the simplicity simplicity of it overall and how easy it was to achieve. I hope you like this video guys, a very very relaxed chit chat get ready with me and I hope to see you tomorrow in our next day of our 12 days of Christmas or Vlogmas. I want to call it Vlogmas guys but these aren't vlogs so you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Before you leave don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and have a great rest of the day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.